Here's a quick overview of how I fill and drain uh, the pan on my Langmuir Crossfire XL uh, plasma uh, table. I noticed that about 300 people uh, want to know about this on YouTube, uh, so I'll show you my setup. Uh, this is a bar sink uh, drain. It's a drain that looks like a kitchen sink drain, but it's small. In size, it's closer to a bathroom sink drain. Uh, this sold on Amazon and this was suggested by another YouTuber. Uh, you'll have to dimple the uh, the pan for it, which is a little tricky. I used a race car fabrication die, which was not perfect for this, but um, with, with a bunch of silicone, uh, the seal is good and there is no leak. And it comes with a strainer and the strainer uh, is a trick strainer with a little lever that will plug it or allow it to strain. Underneath this drain is a uh, quick disconnect fitting so that this can be removed quickly. Um, it's very convenient. I use the same thing in my kitchen. I read about this in fine home building. It's uh, very easy to remove this whole drainage setup. So after this quick disconnect, um, the uh, fluid drains via this pipe when this valve is open and then downhill uh, into the tank. And it drains uh, through this filter and you can see there is some gunk uh, that the filter does uh, catch. The tank is filled uh, using this pump. This is 110 volt, uh, 330 uh, gallon per hour transfer pump. Uh, that works with uh, garden hose uh, connectors. Um, it came with uh, spare brushes and a spare impeller and uh, it's used very little and it fills the pan uh, very quickly. And so at the heart of this system is uh, this one-way uh, valve. And I recorded a separate video segment about it which will uh, uh, follow in a second, uh, but this allows flow in this direction, but it doesn't allow flow backwards. So when I'm draining the pan from above, it can't flow back through the pump. It has to go through this pipe and through this uh, water filter. And this is the backflow preventer, the one-way valve that's at the center of this. Half a pound of pressure opens it. That's all you have to do. Here I'm pushing it very lightly and it's a, obviously a cement PVC and so it flows in this direction but it doesn't flow in that direction. So one minute and uh, seven seconds to fill about nine gallons.